Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday, the 14th in my part of the world, was the second Tuesday of the month, which means it's Patch Tuesday time again for Windows 10 and Windows 11. So Microsoft now is rolling out our November B-release security updates for both OSs. And the Patch Tuesday updates, um, as many of you will know by now, are compulsory mandatory security updates that will be downloaded and installed automatically onto your device unless you decide to pause the update for a couple of days. Now, if we just head over to our update history for Windows 10 this month, the Patch Tuesday update that is rolled out, as we can see, is KB5032189. And this is rolling out now for Windows 10 version 22H2. Now, um, what's new this month for the Patch Tuesday update? Well, first of all, the Patch Tuesday updates address security issues uh, for your Windows 10 operating system. So just have a quick look at those. Uh, for Windows 10 version 22H2, we get 20 vi 25 vulnerabilities that have been fixed. And two of those are critical security flaws, which is your highest ranked security vulnerability. So this is an important security update that is rolling out. And the two critical vulnerabilities that have been fixed, the first is elevation of privilege and the second is remote code execution. And both those vulnerabilities are common flaws that get patched almost on a monthly basis uh, with the security updates that do roll out for Windows 10 and Windows 11. So 25 vulnerabilities fixed in total. Two of those are critical. Now, over and above the security fixes that have rolled out with 5032189, this update, uh, November's Patch Tuesday update, also includes the bug fixes and quality improvements that were part of this update, KB5031445, which was last month October's C release bug fix update, which is an optional update. So if you didn't install this update, as always, those improvements and fixes will now will be carried over into this update. Now, um, I did post a whole video on KB5031445, but nonetheless, just for the purpose of this video, just to do a quick recap, and by the way, I'll leave that video in the description if you'd like to play catch up. But it does include a couple of bug fixes that are now rolling out for Windows 10. And two of those fixes are for memory leaks, which is always good because memory leaks... Um, are performance issues so um, this is addressing two memory leaks so you should see a little bit of a, a performance boost after installing this update it also fixes touchscreen issues printing issues and a lot more and um, as mentioned go check that video out if you didn't install the optional update last month and then i would say a kind of a new improvement that has rolled out if you hadn't seen it yet um, we also get the new system labeling for system apps in the start menu so these identify system components uh, in the start menu so there we go microsoft store system phone link system settings has system underneath it you get the idea windows backup and windows security all those um, system components have been labeled accordingly now in the start menu all apps to identify them obviously as system components which i actually think as i've said previously is a nice move in the right direction. Now, over and above the security um, issues that have been addressed and those bug fixes that have been included, um, this month's security update, 5032189, also includes its own bug fix for a known issue that I actually posted on uh, yesterday. So this is good to see that Microsoft is actually fixing a known issue where it addresses a known issue that might affect this update which was the Patch Tuesday update for October for Windows 10, 5031356. And um, it, apparently this update was failing to uh, finish installing. So when you try to install it for some users, your device might display progress but fail to finish. So good to see that Microsoft is fixing that known issue. So, so that's a known issue that has been addressed. Now, once this update has been applied, if we head over to Winver, about Windows as always, the OS build for Windows 10 version 22H2 has been bumped up to OS build 19045.3693. So that's the latest version and build. 
And something else just to take note of uh, with the security update is that it also updates the Windows 10 servicing stack, which is the component that installs Windows updates. So that's more or less what's new in this month's B-release Patch Tuesday security update for Windows 10 KB5032189. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.